Hello, hello, and welcome to Sonya's Beauty On This Channel. Today I'm going to show you how to organize your refrigerator using some Dollar Tree shelf lining. Now, this is like your 12 inch shelf lining. A lot of times people tend to take this to line their shelves, but you also can line the inside of your refrigerator. Now, if you have kids like I do, you, you better go get you some of this. Go and get you some of this. If you don't want the cheaper version, head on over there to Walmart and get the thicker version. This right here is the Easy Liner, and this is a 20 inch, which is like six feet of lining. This one right here, you probably can do probably three shelves with this. We're going to find out today. And another thing I cannot stand, let me show you. Excuse that noise, here upstairs cleaning. These, these right here, do you see that? That gets on my nerves. That really gets on my nerves because kids, if you got kids, they just don't care. Only thing they know is I want to go in the refrigerator and that's it. Now, when I show you the inside of the refrigerator, because that's what I was in the process of doing, and some said stop, so you just show them what you're doing because everything is not going to be together all the time. You have to maintain it constantly. If I buy myself, I need to like a little miniature refrigerator. That's all I would need. I would need all this right here. Uh -uh. I'm going to bring you in to show you the inside of my refrigerator before we get started. But head on over there to Dollar Tree, pick up some of this lining for a dollar. If that don't suit your need, head on over to Walmart and buy the thicker version. And when I tell you it comes in handy for your refrigerator as well as other projects around your house, you're going to love it. Come on, let's take a look. Okay, so this is the inside of my refrigerator. As you can see down there, I took the trays out because I just can't stand the trays not being clean. This is the door of the refrigerator. Very unorganized. Look okay. at Then you wonder why I just eat carrots. Somebody's saying to themselves, Sonny, why you don't have a light in your refrigerator? Okay, let me show you. There's a light bulb. Tip of the day, if your refrigerator is empty, take the damn light bulb out. So when they constantly keep opening the refrigerator, they will see there's nothing in it. That way I can keep you out of it. When the light is put back in it, that's when something is in it. And just so happened, they looked up and there's something in this one. It just needs to be better organized. So I took the, the shelf out of the refrigerator to give you a better view. So I'm going to line that like that. Take my scissors and I want to cut within here. Place the liner further back because when you open the refrigerator, that's not the first thing I want you to see. I want you to see that the food on top of the lining more so than this is covering the whole entire tray. So this works out perfectly. So I should have enough to do one more shelf. This is all that I have left. Do I have to cut this? Let's see. Okay, so this is my last bottom shelf. I want this shelf to be a little bit thicker. As you can see, there is a lot of excessive cutting. So now I have to really cut and then I'm going to be wasting.
Okay, so I flipped it to see would that be a better fit. Either way, I'm gonna lose a lot. This is a lot of wasteful liner. I'm wasting liner. Now we're going to work on the door shelf. After reevaluating the containers for my door. It is wiser to use the Dollar Tree. I wanted the door panels to be thicker with this, but I'm, I'm just gonna lose too much of this lining and that becomes a waste of money. So I'm not gonna use this. Look at that cut, that's perfect. And I can just double it. Which it comes folded, that's, that's double. It's already doubled, look until you get to that end. So personally, what I'm gonna do is take it and equally line it up. So when I cut it, it is cut double. I flip the container over. That is the wise thing to do. Take my scissors and I'm just gonna go straight down. Okay, so for me, that is perfect. I'm gonna cut it from this end because that crease, I wanna keep that for later. Okay, y'all, let's take a look. Perfect. So whenever I purchase anything to go in the refrigerator, it's not gonna go no further than right here. That's it because as you can see before, it was just crowded. On this shelf, I have my, my Latonics. This basket I picked up from Walmart, they had marked these down. Those are my son's apples. And then I have a few of my avocados in here. In between here, I have my dairy products. And that worked out perfectly. My beans, I used the Walmart shelf liner, which I'm not too happy with because I lost a lot of it cutting it, trying to fit it in here, and it still did not fit properly. So this is what I have in here. Down here below, my potatoes as well as my onions. When it came to the door panel, I gotta take this off, but I decided to put just a few things up in here. Didn't line it, just a few things up here. On this door panel, my focal point is to stay within the line of the shelf paper. Because a lot of times we tend to overcrowd these doors just because the space is there. And I think this is a better way of doing it. That way you won't overspend and you will utilize what you have in your refrigerator before having to purchase more grocery. Down here at the bottom, I had a little bit of that lining left, so I, I took it and just fold it over and that worked out perfectly so it's a perfect fit this looks so much better my refrigerator have never looked like this never
okay so i hope you enjoyed this video um i didn't expect to do a comparison between the two the walmart versus the dollar tree but it turned out that way and i guess that saying is not always true you pay for what you get because and this was more expensive from walmart for the very first time my refrigerator have never looked like that that shelf liner you can remove it discard it or you can rinse it off or wash it in your dishwasher on the top shelf place it back inside of your refrigerator i am very pleased and when it came to my door panels i used the black it comes in black beige and then possibly white or green i think it is now if you notice in the door panel it doesn't extend all the way out which is a beautiful thing because we tend to overstock our refrigerator because we have that space but when you have a certain binary it's like you, you don't go past that so that works out where you're able to utilize what you have in your refrigerator before you head out to buy more groceries and it makes a lot of sense and I hope this probably be a fit for you as well. Head on over to your local Dollar Tree because to me, that was a great dollar deal. So I hope you've enjoyed the time we've shared together. And remember, every dollar counts even while trying to organize your refrigerator and shopping at Dollar Tree. Until next time, be blessed. Bye, y'all.